This video is going to show you how to set up your GLR light curtains for the first time. Everything referenced in this video is taken from the GLR user's manual available on the Keyence website. You will first need to understand the orientation of the light curtains. There's a red sticker located on the bottom of the transmitter and a blue sticker located on the bottom of the receiver. This is important when understanding which side of the light curtain sticks you need to plug in your cables. First, find the red and blue sticker on your light curtains. Here we can see the red sticker and the blue sticker on the bottom and no sticker on the top. We can rotate the curtains around to find our two flat connector ports on the bottom of the sticks. Orientate the connector so that the long side is resting up against the light curtain. Insert your first cable on the receiver side. Again, locate the long side of the connector to be pushed up against the back side of the light curtain transmitter stick. Insert that cable. Now, as we rotate these curtains around, you'll see that both cables are connected to the bottom of the light curtains. Once the connectors are secured to the light curtains, locate the screws on the back of the connector and tighten both of those down so that everything is properly secured to the base of the light curtain. Be sure to cover any open connector ports with the end caps to avoid errors. Use the two screws on the side to secure these down. In the case of using the GLT-11R dedicated safety relay, the transmitter cable will have a gray connector and the receiver cable will have a black connector. This can also be located on the top of the GLT-11R. When connecting a set of GLR light curtains via GC link to the GC safety controller, please recognize the gray interconnector for the transmitter side and the black interconnector for the receiver side. Properly wiring these two wires to the subsequent sticks of the GLR will help you avoid any sort of errors on both the GLR light curtains as well as the GC safety controller. There are three bare lead wiring options with the GLR light curtains. The first of which, and most simple, is just a five core cable. This includes your power, brown and blue wires, as well as your OSSDs or safety outputs, black and white. With the seven core cables, you have wire synchronization so that you can see alignment indicators up and down the transmitter and receiver, as well as other things like error outputs. Finally, the 11 core cable gives you the most functionality out of the three options, including muting inputs, auxiliary outputs, as well as reset and override inputs to the GLR light curtains. When wiring a set of GLRs for the first time, you may experience an interlock error or E7 error. This simply put is incorrectly wiring either the pink or yellow or even both wires from the GLR. Take a look at your GLR user's manual to understand what both of these wires need to see in order to properly function. This may also come up if you flip the GC Link or GLT11R transmitter and receiver specific cables. So always take a look at the inner connector to make sure you're going to the correct GLR light curtain stick. An E8 or EDM error is similar to an E7 interlock error, but instead you may have incorrectly wired your red and black striped wire on the receiver side. Again, take a look at your GLR user's manual to determine how to wire this properly in order to avoid this error code. If all of the different wire colors have been properly accounted for and you're not seeing error codes, but the light curtains are still red, they're likely just misaligned. Align these by hand in order to see all green up and down the light curtains, or use your laser alignment tool, the GLR1LP, to help you out in this alignment process. If any other questions come up, please feel free to give our tech support team a call or reach out to your local product specialist. Have a great rest of your day.